Uh, so, first I'll start by introducing myself. My name is uh, Christina and I'm a .NET developer. The past few years I've been doing uh, Xamarin development for mobile applications and uh, mainly concentrated on Xamarin forms. Currently I'm being part of the big family of SoftSurf. So today we are going to talk about uh, uh, Xamarin. We will see what are the different approaches in the mobile development. Um, we will uh, make the difference between Xamarin native and uh, Xamarin forms. So let's start with uh, uh, Xamarin. What is Xamarin? Why would we want to use actually Xamarin and choose it? Um, uh, comparing to other uh, development uh, frameworks for mobile apps. So Xamarin is a tool that we use for cross-platform mobile app development and it allows the engineers to share um, about 90% of uh, the code across the platforms, even between, I'll say between 65 and 95% of the code can be shared um, uh, between the platforms, depending on uh, if you're choosing uh, Xamarin native or Xamarin forms. It is um, based on Microsoft technology stack and already has a community of over 1.4 million developers, which is uh, quite good, I'll say. The platform was built by the developers behind Mono and uh, Mono is an open source development platform based on uh, .NET framework. Uh, first introduced in 2001, uh, but the Xamarin company itself was founded in 2011 and uh, created as a commercial project um, until it was acquired by Microsoft in 2016 and they made it uh, open source. So, uh, although Xamarin um, allows you to share code between um, the different platforms, iOS and Android. It doesn't force the code to take uh, on the appearance of uh, one platform over another. Um, it uh, provides the, fle the flexibility to create mobile apps, native mobile apps uh, that are uh, visually appealing and they follow the platform specific uh, user interface standards and. Uh, uh, conventions. And so this is, uh, again, if we are using Xamarin Native, we'll make the difference between Xamarin Native and Forms later in the presentation, in, almost in the end. Um, so uh, with Xamarin, we have access to all platform-specific native APIs um, using uh, C Sharp, um, and the mobile applications built with Xamarin will be fa as fast as Android uh, or iOS native apps. Um, we're uh, with Xamarin uh, also as a cross-platform uh, mobile uh, framework. Um, we are able to share code across the platforms, which means that with less code uh, we can accomplish more. Uh, it is again um, very useful when. Um, uh, when we want uh, to spend less time supporting the application to create uh, new features faster and deploy them faster to the stores. Um, so, if we want to summarize uh, what is uh, Xamarin and why we, we would want to choose it, it's a cross-platform uh, framework that implements native user interface, native performance, implements 100% of the uh, native APIs for iOS and Android. You can share your code across the platforms. As I said, it's up to 95%, uh, which is um, uh, quite uh, easily to support this type of, uh, of application for all platforms. Uh, you're using uh, one language to rule them all, C-sharp. 
uh, which is quite handy, especially if you are a .NET developer and you want to do something different, like uh, create uh, mobile applications, um, because you can use C Sharp .NET. Uh, the learning curve will be smaller, and you'll be able to to do both Android and iOS, and as well, you can create uh, native Mac apps using Xamarin. And um, for the companies, uh, using Xamarin is very handy as well uh, because um, they don't need to invest uh, money in different teams, uh, which are separately supporting iOS or Android. They're uh, investing in one team. Uh, this team is working much faster because the code is shared and yes and they're getting the benefits of uh, actually having um, application for different platforms so now we will see what uh, are the different approaches in the mobile development and we will start with uh, the civil approach and so-called uh, uh, native approach. The native development implies that uh, we use actually platform specific uh, uh, language, programming language, software development kits, development environment, and other tools that are providing, provided by the operating uh, system vendors, which means that if you want to build uh, Android Android app, you'll be using um, uh, Java or Kotlin, you'll be using Android Studio. If you want to build iOS app, um, you'll be using Swift or Objective-C uh, and Xcode, uh, which is coming um, uh, more expensive uh, from staff perspective. You'll need to manage two different teams that are building the same app, but for different platforms. Um, you need to build the specific up multiple times for different platforms, of course. Um, the tool set is completely different for the different platforms. Um, it's expensive to maintain uh, multiple code bases. The feature releases are becoming um, slower. The bug fixes are becoming slower. Uh, so that's the native approach and um, and yes, so the next type, the next approach that we're going to discuss is the hybrid approach. Um, the hybrid approach, uh, uh, the hybrid development makes uh, use of the standard web technologies like HTML5, CSS, and um, uh, JavaScript. Um, but uh, it, it has, a lot of uh, of weak points so the shared code is uh, wrapped in a native container which can be done using various tools like phone app, for example and it is shipped as a regular app uh, but uh, the hybrid approach uses uh, web view to uh, display the content of the application and web view is actually a platform specific component um, that is displaying the content directly in the app um, instead of using uh, a browser like Chrome or Safari. So such apps uh, function like uh, websites wrapped uh, in a web view basically. So it's something between an app and a browser page. So if we make, uh, if, if we, uh, let's say about few, uh, a few words about PongGap uh, and um, Ionic, these are the frameworks um, which are actually using the hybrid approach. Um, so PongGap uh, is using HTML, CSS and Java, JavaScript. Uh, which is then deployed uh, for each specific platform and it has identical look across the operating systems. Uh, and um, since WebView doesn't support uh, the features that are coming from the hardware devices, um, PhoneGap comes with plugins to support um, uh, search device cap capabilities like uh, camera, push notifications, uh, barcode scanning, 
Um, also, PongGap supports numerous frameworks and libraries to enhance the, the UI like uh, jQuery Angular. Um, what comes for Ionic is that uh, Ionic is Angular based uh, framework and um, it shares the advantages, of course, of this uh, uh, very popular um, framework. It has, Angular has a big community which also helps Ionic to develop. Um, they're making improvements of Ionic, uh, of the applications built with Ionic, uh, as um, it is working on the native look, uh, which is well implemented in Ionic. And it's um, also um, making uh, a big improvement uh, in the mobile performance because it's um, uh, implementing reuse of the DOM elements, uh, yes, which is one of the reasons of poor performance. Uh, it also utilizes the NG Cordova to provide access to the native functionality, as we mentioned, um, for PhoneGap. And despite the many uh, advantages that we are uh, seeing here in the hybrid approach, uh, again, you have one team that's uh, using uh, uh, a framework for building multiple platforms, uh, mobile applications, but uh, the hybrid approach uh, has weak points like low performance, uh, slower uh, interactions with the user interface, generic uh, user experience, and of course limited um, access to devices, hardware. Uh, so the next approach which we will uh, cover is uh, the cross-platform uh, approach. Uh, the cross-platform approach in the mobile development employ employs the, a single tool set to deliver apps across multiple platforms and uh, uh, to make a difference between the hybrid development the hybrid development combines both native and web components and the cross-platform technique involves using uh, non-web and standalone tools. And tools like Xamarin, React Native uh, or Flutter take each element of the app and adapt it to uh, each specific platform. So in this case, uh, we ensure that uh, we have maximum customization, uh, improved performance uh, compared to the hybrid uh, approach. So let's uh, say a few words about uh, reactive native, React Native and, uh, and Flutter, which are uh, cross-platform uh, frameworks that we can use for mobile development for multiple platforms. So React Native uh, is a young um, open source framework uh, from Facebook. It was launched in 2015 um, and it requires uh, extended uh, knowledge in JavaScript as the base. Uh, unlike Xamarin, it only supports iOS and Android platforms, uh, but uh, it has a number of features uh, and available tools such, uh, such as code push that permits the automatic update on, of an app um, when the device is online. So uh, with React Native, um, we uh, have a simplified uh, way to write the uh, UI because React makes the changes uh, for you based on the data, on the input data. With React also you can share the basic code that's written in JavaScript ac across uh, the platforms, uh, but at the same time use uh, native models for the heavy features. Uh, and most of the React code is just uh, JavaScript and you can take all the benefits of that 
language in one neat package. Uh, so, uh, about Flutter. Uh, Flutter is again, is again uh, uh, a very uh, new framework that um, is using uh, the Dart pro programming language. Uh, Dart as language uh, is not quite old as well. It was introduced by Google in 2011. And from what we can see from the developers' comments, is quite it is quite easy actually to um, to use uh, Dart and to learn it. Um, so Flutter is as well open source uh, and it's free cross-platform framework. Um, and with it, we we can create uh, native user uh, interfaces for Android and iOS. So. Yes, as I said, Flutter um, was introduced quite recently in 2017 by Google. Uh, it doesn't have a very big community, but uh, it is developing uh, quite um, uh, quite extensively. So probably we will need to wait to see what's happening with Flutter. As I said, it's using Dart uh, for uh, programming language. Um, it offers faster development uh, time with uh, uh, hot reloading, which means that uh, you're making the change uh, in your code and you can see uh, there directly within the device or an emulator, it depends what um, uh, you use, you can see the changes that you're making. Uh, it also allows uh, wrapping uh, web view and uh, create native flight user interface. And uh, it offers quick and adjustable gadgets uh, within the framework. So the, te the, the code takes a very short time to write uh, with this cross-platform approach. Uh, and now we're go uh, getting to the point where we need to talk about our uh, Xamarin. Xamarin is actually uh, part of the cross-platform approach, but <laughs> yes, we have uh, uh, separated the uh, slide for Xamarin because that's the point of our presentation. So Xamarin, uh, with Xamarin you can create fully native apps written in C Sharp. Uh, you can take all the advantages of uh, C Sharp and .NET API. Um, you have native UI, native performance, it's uh, wrapping 100% of the native IP, API for iOS and Android uh, in one shared code base in C-sharp. Uh, anything you can do in Objective-C uh, for iOS and Java in, uh, for Android can be done in Xamarin. Um, of course, uh, it has uh, other advantages. For example, if, you're coming, if you are coming from .NET and you're a .NET developer, the learning curve uh, to use Xamarin is quite small. Uh, and yes, you can reuse your existing uh, skills. You can reuse your existing tools as well because uh, Xamarin, uh, um, you can develop Xamarin in uh, Visual Studio. Um, uh, and yes, you can share a big chunk of your uh, code uh, for the different platforms uh, for iOS and Android. Uh, so, it uses C Sharp with that .NET framework to create the apps. Um, it uh, doesn't require switching between development environments because you can do everything in Visual Studio. But bear in mind that for um, iOS applications, you will need Mac to build actually the the iOS app and turn it on your computer if you're using Windows. Um, so uh, unlike the traditional hybrid solutions uh, based on the web technologies, uh, a cross-platform app built with Xamarin can still be uh, classified and say that it's uh, a native. Um, the, performer, the performance metrics uh, are quite close to 
um, travel for unwritten objective C for um, iOS and um, Microsoft are investing a lot uh, in Xamarin so um, the performance is constantly being improved to fully match the standard uh, native uh, platforms. Uh, also, uh, in Visual Studio, Visual Studio offers, offers a complete solution for building uh, apps with, uh, with Xamarin uh, for testing and tracking the app's performance. Um, with Visual Studio App Center, you can run uh, automated UI testing. The platform is very good because you have as well uh, book tracking, uh, not book tracking, you have um, error tracking, events tracking, it's, uh, hand, uh, it's uh, a recording all unhandled exceptions. You can build uh, the app using uh, App Center. Uh, it's also implemented um, uh, very simple to use uh, push notifications. Uh, library and uh, yes, it's constantly developing because Microsoft are investing um, a lot in Xamarin and uh, the tools surrounding that. Uh, so uh, with Xamarin you have as well full hardware support. Uh, it will uh, use specific APIs uh, to work with um, the native, the common device functionality across the different platforms. Um, along with the access to the platform specific APIs, uh, Xamarin also supports linking with uh, native library, which allows for better customization and um, native level functionality with little overhead. Uh, again, we will repeat that uh, with Xamarin as you're sharing uh, uh, a lot of your um, code, the maintenance is uh, simplified um, and the updates of the publications are easier because you're doing them in one place and they go for both platforms. Um, so also with Xamarin, uh, you can build apps for Mac, with Xamarin Mac. Uh, it allows you to develop fully native Mac apps using C Sharp and .NET. And it in integrates with uh, the same libraries that are used uh, for developing in Objective-C uh, with Xcode. Um, so yeah. Uh, Combined, as we already said several times, um, you can share up to 90-95% of your native code across Android, iOS, and macOS. It depends on what type of Xamarin um, you're using. Is it uh, Xamarin native or uh, Xamarin forms? Uh, in regards to the native uh, performance, we need to mention how actually the apps are built. Um, it's uh, Xamarin apps are fully compiled down to, into native binaries for each of the platforms, iOS and Android. Um, and this natively compilation makes it go to option for building high performance apps with native look and feel. So uh, the platform has two major projects, uh, Xamarin uh, iOS and Xamarin Android. And in this case, uh, for iOS, the source code is compiled uh, directly into native FireM assembly code ahead, with the head of time compila compilation. And for Android, uh, Xamarin apps are first compiled down to uh, intermediate language and then into native assembly code at runtime, which is just in time compilation. Um, so, uh, however, in both cases, the process, uh, the process is automated and tailored to handle um, such issues as um, memory location and garbage collection. Okay, here we should have a picture. <laughs> That's 
very bad. Ah, okay, it's appearing with animation. <laughs> I didn't expect that, to be honest with you. But, okay, so if we talk about uh, summoning up architecture, here we have again a shared C sharp um, business logic. Uh, 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 you can share the data access layer. Um, you can share absolutely everything uh, with Xamarin, especially if you're using Xamarin forms, you can share even the UI. Um, so we are getting 100% of the na native API access wrapped in C-sharp. We're getting the old .NET platform uh, APIs um, and with uh, the native API implemented, we are getting high performance and very good um, native user interface. Uh, so now I will talk about what is the difference between Xamarin native and we'll compare both. We will talk about why, uh, when we want to use Xamarin native and when we want to use um, Xamarin forms. So, um, very briefly, the main differences between Xamarin native uh, and Xamarin forms are that you have a specific UI implementation uh, for iOS and Android using Xamarin native. And with Xamarin forms, um, you can share, you can share, uh, your UI elements, basically using C Sharp or XAML. Uh, so, uh, despite the fact that Xamarin native is uh, more resourceful, uh, resourceful approach, <laughs> um, it is uh, still chosen uh, in most of the cases uh, because it's implementing separately um, the UI for for the different platforms. It has much better performance. Uh, it's uh, uh, from UI point of view, the application um, is looking and feeling uh, as native as possible. Um, and yes, when, when creating um, native applications, of course you still have uh, you still have the ability to share a um, um, big percent of your code between the different platforms. Uh, with Xamarin Native, again, you need one team to support um, to, to support the application for the different platforms. Um, and in general, Xamarin Native is um, is best when you want uh, to have uh, sophisticated UX apps, um, apps that are uh, having uh, more complicated user interface elements, um, apps that need to be uh, very good in, uh, in, in the apps performance uh, with very, with high polished uh, design. And yes, if you need to, to use many platform specific APIs, you'll be using Xamarin uh, native. Uh, what comes to Xamarin forms? Uh, again, we'll repeat the difference between forms and native um, is that in forms, you are writing um, the user interface in XAML or C Sharp. If you write it in XAML, it's uh, better because it's, it looks, uh, uh, it's ordering the element on the screen in a better way. Although uh, when we're compiling, it's compiling XAML to C Sharp. But if you write the UI in C Sharp, it, it kind of get, gets quite messy, especially if the, uh, especially if uh, the interface of that page is, has a lot of elements. So yes, we're building the user interface quite quickly and easy because we are building it once in XAML for the multiple um, platforms. Uh, it's adding uh, extra 
uh, UI layer abstraction, which is making the performance of summary forms uh, um, a little bit uh, um, worse than comparing to summary forms. Uh, you have uh, uh, a bigger, but uh, in comparison to native, you have bigger percent of shared business logic uh, uh, because you're you're uh, sharing not only the business logic, uh, the data layers, uh, and you're sharing also the the UI. Uh, and of course, with with Xamarin Native, as it is. Uh, a building on top of Xamarin iOS and Android libraries, um, you can um, add custom native implementation of uh, APIs which we which you want directly in the iOS and Android projects. Um, so basically, it can combine both with the Xamarin forms. Um, so yes, in Xamarin Forms we have templates that uh, helps uh, helps us uh, use the standard UI elements, um, and this allows us to share a uh, hundred percent of the code, ninety five. <laughs> um, so it's very quick when we want to build the basic uh, applications, um, and what is Xamarin Informs best for our data entry apps? Uh, you can easily and quickly build prototypes and proof, uh, yeah, prototype proof of concepts. Um, if you don't require so much platform specific functionality, uh, you can use Xamarin Informs. Uh, and if, for example, for that specific project you need or you're forced, uh, to use uh, uh, to use uh, big percent code sharing between the platforms, you would choose Xamarin Forms. So if you're time limited, basically, if you don't have much resources, uh, yeah, Xamarin Forms is go-to option. Uh, so let's go to the last slide, which is the summary. So what uh, uh, what we talked about is Xamarin. Uh, with Xamarin, you can get uh, native UI, native performance. Hundred percent of the APIs for Android and iOS are uh, wrapped in C Sharp. Um, you're using one tool set, uh, C Sharp .NET. You're using uh, Visual Studio to to uh, implement uh, your solution. Uh, it allows you to share uh, code and depending on what you're using, Xamarin Forms or Native, that, that percent can go uh, very high, which is, again, we will say it's very good for maintenance. It's very good when you want to release um, features uh, very quickly. Uh, because you're doing the changes uh, once, not for each platform. Um, and yes, and when you need to, to fix a problem, for example, it's again uh, getting quicker uh, development and release process. Uh, so, yes, do we have any questions? Actually, I have a question. Uh, for what type of project would you suggest uh, Xamarin? Big, small, uh, with complex uh, architecture, some specific, I don't know. So I'm a big Xamarin fan, so I will, I will say that Xamarin can cover uh, any type of project. If it's a very complex pro project that requires extended uh, UI, a very good performance, I will say go to Xamarin Native, especially if the team uh, is coming with a .NET background, definitely uh, check Xamarin like an option for your project. If it's a small project um, or proof of concept or 
um, you want to deliver it very quickly, then you can use uh, Xamarin Forms. But bear in mind that uh, Xamarin Forms is a bit uh, limited in UI uh, experience and a little bit uh, worse than native in performance. So definitely if, um, um, if you're having a mobile uh, project and you want to build it uh, quickly, uh, check the cross-platform options and check the Xamarin native or forms, depends on the project needs. Okay, I got you. Any other questions? Yep. Uh, do we have, uh, do we have some, I mean, disadvantages of Xamarin or, or it, it, it sounds too, too good? <laughs> Uh, uh, disadvantages, uh, well, Xamarin Forms has more disadvantages than Xamarin Native, to be honest with you. As I said, uh, uh, it's not so good in, from a uh, UI perspective because um, uh, it's uh, extra abstraction on the uh, iOS and Android uh, APIs uh, and the performance is not so good. Uh, Xamarin uh, native, let me think about disadvantages. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, disadvantages in comparison to native approach. I mean, Objective-C and Java. Uh, well, um, although the, the performance of Xamarin is very close to native, it's not native, but it's very close. Uh, other disadvantages I can see only advantages because with Xamarin uh, you you are sharing the code between the platforms, uh, and you're you're um, decreasing the the cost. You're decreasing the time. All very positive. So I I can't think to be honest with you of uh, disadvantaging disadvantages using uh, Xamarin uh, instead of native. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions? Well, if we don't have questions, do we have questions? 